I'm going to show you how to make a basic destruction simulation in Houdini, and then I'm going to show you how to export a USD University Scene Design and render it in Solaris right here. So the first thing here what I need to do is create a basic geo node. Hit tab and type in geo. Choose here geometry. And this geometry node is a container. So I'm going to name this uh, uh, frac sim. And then I'm going to double click in here. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit tab and type in test. I'm going to use the test geometry rubber toy. And then what I want to do here is I'm going to create a scatter node. Here. And this scatter node, and then I'm going to create a, a Varro, Varro fracture. So if you hover over here, you can see this is a, it needs a applied geometry, which is this right here. So I'm going to take this and connect here. And you hover here, this needs points. And what the scatter does, it creates points. So you can see here, this is where my practice is going to happen. And then I'm going to connect this to here, to this point here. And then if I hit this, thinking. And I want to turn down my scatter. So it helps me do it better. So I hit explode. Low view. This is only so you can see what's going on. You can see here doing that. Uh, as you can see, it is only scattering to the surface. But if I want something to break apart in the middle, I need to add another a node. And it's a ISO offset. So I hit tab and type in ISO offset here and then if i click here whoops wrong place that's good you can see happen <laughs> and now it's actually taking off the fins and the uh i guess the mohawk but the iso actually will come before scatter so if you shake it here place it right here and watch here what happens see now it's breaking part in the middle and what I do here, I'm gonna if you here you see this here you can see it creates a volume cloud. If I hit to 100, now it's more defined. Come back in here. In here. Now what I want to do here is I'm gonna turn this off or cut it. I'm gonna hit uh, Y on the keyboard and just cut this. Now I'm gonna create a null. I'm going to name this frac out. I'm going to connect this to here. And now I need to create my simulation network. Um, and I'm going to use adopt.net. So I'm going to hit tap on my keyboard and type in dop. And I'll be using this one, dop network, right here. This. And now I'm going inside of this. So double click it. And I need a couple of nodes here. Uh, the first I need to bring in the uh, must destruction. So if I hit tab on my keyboard and type in um, fract here. Uh, the, this is the one you want to use RBD fracture object since we fractured it. That's what we click. It looks like a pumpkin. And right here, I'm going to choose uh, the soft path. And you would choose the last one of the chain is cracked out. Except. And then I need to need a solver. And if you hit tab on the keyboard and type in solver, you see there are many solvers in here. If I choose the rigid solver, I get both the bolded and the RBD solver. But we are going to use the bolded solver. And I'm going to connect this here. Next, what I'm going to do here is I need to add gravity. 
hypergravity like this and we'll connect here and then we connect this and now we can see there it is but when I hit play it's going to fall it doesn't have a ground also you can see um, it is intersecting the grid so I need to go back and just put one unit up so I'm going to hit U on my keyboard and I'll select this the uh, test geometry and I'm going to hit 1 it moves up I'll go back in and I apologize for that as you see he was just falling so we need to add a ground so we can hit ground here and um, so I will need a merge node for here so both gravity merge will connect to the output I'm going to hit tap my keyboard and then type in merge here and you're just going to drag it in and then I'm going to take this here like that and you can see what happened here is that uh, my ground merge intersected here and you can see this is here left input effect right input so if I hit play it's going to fall right through see that happens here so to fix that I'm just going to take this ground plane hold my left button my mouse and push it up and now you can see this switch right here now if I hit play it breaks apart wonderful so I am done in here and next thing I need to do now is export this as a USD so I can hit U on my keyboard and I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard and type in uh, USD and oops I can, if I can spell it right USD and it would choose the USD export right here click this here then connect it and then we go in here then in the export tab here, uh, we want to save it. So we need to put a place to save it. We can hit this little folder, output file. And I'm going to put it into my cache delete here. And I call it uh, rubber. And the important thing we have to do is you have to type in USD. If you don't do that, um, you will not see it in your folder when you place it. Hit accept. And what also what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the valid frame range to render frame range. And you can see here it's going to render 1 to 400. And I want that. It will take a little time. So I'm going to hit in 60. And 60 as well. And you can see what this looks like. It's great. All right. So we're done here. So what I need to do here now is um, I just need to hit here save to disk. Do that, a little item pop up here. There. So next thing what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna jump into Slurus and set up my render. So I'm gonna go back in here and I'm going to go into um, Slurus right here. And then I'm gonna click here go into stage right here so I hit stage and this is where you do your renders right now you don't see anything in here I'm in Solaris and what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna hit tap on my keyboard and then I'm gonna type reference and this will bring in my export USD so I'm gonna type in reference here right here and hit reference then I'm gonna hit P on my keyboard and then here this is where you find your file right here so I'm going to choose uh, here, and then here's my rubber, which I just did here. Hit accept, and you can see here, this is what I did in my last scene here. So in order to uh, render this, we, we need light. So I'm going to hit tap on the keyboard and type in point light, or any kind of light would be great. So I'm just going to do point light for now. Put it here. Then I'm going to connect this. And up. We can see what it looks like. Something like that. And I'm going to increase this to a 12, um, 5. 
All right. So next here, we need a camera in the scene in order to render. So it says no camera here. So I'll create a new camera. Or you can type in camera in here as well if you want. But I'm just going to click here, new camera. And you can see it automatically locks, which is great. If you don't have that lock, you cannot move your camera around. So I'm going to set up a render scene right here. So uh, next what I'm going to do here is I need the Karma in order to render this out. So I'm going to hit tab on the keyboard and type in Karma. All right, and if you're using the newest version of uh, Houdini, uh, you will get the Karma setting and you will get the um, USD uh, render ROP right here. So I'm going to connect this right here. And next thing here what I need to do now is I need to set up this to render. In order for this to render right here, I need to change the output right here. And um, what you need in here is, uh, let me just put it here. Is the, I'm uh, sorry about that. Um, you need to change the um, JPEG right here. Um, it, it will render EXR just fine. And what you only really need is the dollar sign F4, and that's the kind of the padding. So if I just type in uh, boy right here, and, and that'd be the name of that. So, uh, oh, we also need to tell it where to, to go. So sorry about that. I'm just gonna click this. I'm gonna go into my cache right here, create a new folder, call it R10. Hit accept. Now I've been here. This is what I had here. So I'm going to do uh, a, a toy dollar sign F4, and this is the padding and the JPEG, and accept. And this is the size of the resolution of the camera. Um, you can change it if you want to. Uh, now I'm running the CPU. You can actually do XPU, which is the GPU, but for this, I'm going to do here. And this here is the sampling, 9 is very low. I, I would say try 32 to get a better um, quality. I'm not going to go over all these settings, but I can do that in class. So uh, this is ready to be rendered. So we go in here and then just, oh, to, if you want to test it to see what it looks look like, which is you should before you render, um, hit here, render to play. And this is what your render is going to look like, the lighting. So always check your render before you hit um, uh, render to disk. So all I have to do now here is last thing, hit render to disk. Do this. See here. Here's my renders. Boy, underscore. I could have put a pair right here, so it would be a separation or four. I did something a mistake here. What I forgot to do here is um, I'm only rendering one frame. <laughs> I need to change this. I do apologize. So we can do render for 60 here and now render to disk. Try this one more time. There we go. Make sure you change this render specifics page. go now you can see it's rendering frame two now it's rendering frame three there we go so that i'm going to stop here so that is how you create a basic uh destruction and then how to set up a basic rendering and export usd into solaris and i want to thank you for your time take care bye bye